Welcome back, peeps. Welcome to Jeff Rose Journey. If it's your first time here, awesome. If it's your second time here, excellent. And if it's your third time coming to the channel, you need to find a more exciting life because this is not it. Anyway, been on the road now for uh, quite a long time. Got 1,014 miles on this trip. Going to see a buddy of mine for a few days. Reason being, going on a hog hunt. Decided to take some time away. My wife's at home watching the pupper dogs. Got a week off from work. Gonna use it wisely. And it looks like the bright sunny weather I was expecting turned into drizzles and cloudy. Go figure. But uh, anyway, so I want to tell you planning your trip whether you're doing it just for recreation like I'm doing or whether you're doing it because you need to move to a different area for whatever reason and I guess it's kind of the same for life um, planning your journey aptly named um, I was wondering how this trip was going to go and sorry for the shaky camera work but I'm holding the camera and driving at the same time. I don't have a fancy stabilizing mount or whatever. But I was a little concerned about how this trip would go. Uh, so one way is about 1,080 miles. I'm not telling you where I'm going. It's not a secret or anything. It's just nobody really cares. Um, but I was a little worried because it's my first solo trip of this length. Now I've gone on drives this long before, um, but not by myself. So I was a little unsure how it was all gonna go. So I spent maybe two, three hours, uh, let's just say four hours, mapping it out, um, planning my stops, where I was gonna rest, where I was gonna sleep. Um, and sorry for the background noise, it's a highway, big trucks. Um, and the one thing I had to keep in mind was the distance I could comfortably go on a tank of gas. And for that, I used 300 miles. 300 miles is basically my range in this vehicle with three quarters of a tank of gas. I've always had the habit of wherever I went, if I ever got down to a quarter tank, I'd always stop and fill up. Gives you a little bit of a buffer, right? So in this car, a quarter tank of gas is about an hour of drive time at highway speeds. Um, so keeping that in mind, you gotta plan where you're gonna be. Where's your benchmarks? When you hit your benchmark, what is the next benchmark? And I've never, planned that much for a trip but I can definitely see the benefits in doing so it took a lot of the stress off all I had to do was worry about getting to the next waypoint and you get to the next waypoint you worry about getting to the next one and the next one and then before you know it 17 hours later hopefully you're at your location in my case um, but that got me thinking What could I do if I applied that same logic and reasoning to life? You know, a lot of times we set out goals for ourselves and uh, we just have a goal, right? Whatever it is, go to the gym, get healthy, work out, lose weight, whatever. But with the ultimate goal in mind, oftentimes we don't get there. And... I'm wondering if that's because the goal seems so insurmountable and we don't set little mini goals along the way to show um, progress. So like for instance, right now, personally, I have a goal this year to lose weight, right? So that started with three, four, no, three full months, January, February, March, three full months 
of no alcohol at all. I gotta admit, that first month, it was tough. First two weeks was a little tough. But then, one month, done. Didn't have to worry about it. Month two, done. Didn't have to worry about it. And now, today, March 22nd, to Monday, I'm almost there. So, not drinking was done for two reasons. One, I'm starting to get a little carried away. Two, I want to lose weight, like I said. So, it's not really helped because I found that when I stopped drinking, I just ate more. Go figure. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a goal to lose five pounds. That's it. Five pounds in two weeks. That's an easy enough goal. What? Pound a week? Five weeks? I can do that. And then when I get there, lose another five pounds. And then another five pounds. Then eventually, what I'm going to do because I'm not happy with my physique. Well, who really is, right? Unless you're like Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1980-something. You know, first Terminator movie. The guy was ripped. Um, that just ruined the surprise. Um, but yeah. First, lose five pounds. Then lose another five pounds. And then I'm going to do some exercises. Push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and pull-ups. And get a baseline. And then the goal, one month goal, is to increase those by five. That's it. Five. And then month after month keep on doing it so just something while I was driving I thought I'd do a quick video help me uh, number one stay awake number two just kind of thinking about it rattling off in my head and maybe just maybe this information might help somebody who's setting a goal um, wh whatever goal it is it doesn't matter you can use this process for anything so all right um, Maybe I'll be able to get a few video snippets or pictures or whatever of the hunt. And uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. But this video will probably go up Saturday, a week from now or so. So talk to you then.